Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Chris, and today what we're going to do is uh, take a look at how to use styled components in a project to create this card flip effect. So here's an example. This is a code pen I found that you hover over it and it uh, flips to the back. We're going to do something similar with that flipping effect, um, but using uh, using state and uh, and using a click event to actually flip over and show some content on the back. So. Let's go ahead and start. This is a and just an old kind of almost empty Gatsby project that I've got. If you're using just plain React, that's fine. Just check the documentation to make sure you've got everything set up correctly. If you are using Gatsby, I know you'll need a couple of things. Gatsby plugin styled components will need to be installed and added to your Gatsby config. And then you'll also need to have a Babel plugin styled components installed as well as styled components. Um, so just check the documentation for whatever setup that you've got, but I'm going to be in Gatsby. So I've got the, uh, the, the project going here, um, and I've got my home page, this index page, and I'm going to create a new component. So I'm going to call this card. I haven't made it yet. I'm just going to put it inside of this second div and then I'll import the card from components slash card and then we'll go ahead and make it so inside components I'll create a new file called card.js and then I've got the uh, ES7 react you can see this uh, snippets thing. So I'm going to do R-A-C-F-E and hit enter. And it creates that for me. It's pretty helpful. At the top, I'm going to do import styled from styled components. So that we can style this. Uh, I'm going to do at the bottom const card container equals styled div. And for now, I'll give it a display of flex and come back and change that in a little bit. And we'll say card. And then save our index file as well. Or this should say card container. that and there's our card at the bottom I think I have some old styles left on this from before let's check it out uh, I guess not okay well there's our card at the bottom now let's give it uh, let's give it some styles here So when you're making your card, you need to think about the what's going to be on the front and what's going to be on the back, and then we're going to apply some styles to each, as well as some kind of like think of think of them as global styles for your for your card. Um, so for our card, we're going to give it a display of flex, a flex direction of column. The things that we're going to be transitioning uh, are going to be z-index, and we can do 500 milliseconds and see how that looks, and then transform 500 milliseconds. Let's do transition delay. Uh, we don't need to do transition delay actually. Let's do Z index. We'll start off at zero. WebKit perspective. Need a thousand pixels. Perspective. Thousand pixels just to cover our bases across browsers. And transform style preserve 3d so that it uh, looks like it's actually a three-dimensional card flipping and not just kind of like 
janky looking where you see the other side. We're going to give it, uh, we're going to dynamically add a class of flipped. And we'll do a Z index of one on that. And that should be good for our card container. So let's go ahead and do our markup. So <clears throat> we're going to have this card inner. And inside of that, we're going to give it a class and we're going to um, base that class name off of whether or not this flipped button has been clicked. So we'll say uh, flipped. Uh, and then it, if it is, we'll give it a class of flipped. If not, we won't add anything. Then we'll do our card front. And we can give this some text. We can say like title. And here is some content for the front. And then we can just do our back. So card back. And we can just pretty much do the same thing. Um, back side title. Here is the content that goes on the back. And that should be good. Now we'll have. If I save this, we're going to get some errors because none of these, uh, none of these co components and style components have been defined yet. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So, styled components has uh, a CSS property that we're going to actually use because we have. Uh, we have some styles that are going to apply to multiple parts of the card that we can reuse. So we're going to call this uh, card side. And these are styles that are, are going to apply to both sides of the card. So all we do here is just do CSS with back ticks. And then we go ahead and, and apply our style. So we'll give it a width of 100%, a min width of 100%. Our cards are going to be display flex on the front and back. We're going to give them a flex uh, direction of column. We'll do justify content space between. Uh, we'll do back face visibility none, and then we'll cover ourselves for Firefox and we'll add our WebKit as well. Oh, and this should not be none, this should be hidden. We'll give ourselves a border. We can do two pixels solid. Let's do like O D O D O D. It's kind of a uh, almost black. Okay, that should be fine. And now let's style up the front of our card. So we'll do const card front equals we'll do we'll 
do it as a div for now. We might change that. So uh, to apply the this style to this card front, we do dollar sign curly braces card side. And you can see that lit up in, in VS Code for me. So it's it's being read down here. So now all of these styles are in card front. And now we're going to add a few more. So let's do Z index of 0. Let's do a background of white. And that should be good for this one. We might add some more styles a little bit later. Do card back. We'll also do the card side. We're going to transform. And this is this part is to keep the back side hidden. So we'll do rotate y uh, negative oops negative 180 degrees, and we'll translate 100% and zero. We'll give this a background of something a little bit different. So let's do, uh, let's do, actually, let's do that. Um, let's do kind of like a slightly darker white. So it's a little bit, actually, let's make this a little bit, a little bit darker. So that should be like a, a gray for us. And then the Z index, we'll give it one. And that should be good. Now we want to, so we've styled up our card front and our card back and our card container. Now we want to target this card inner. So we'll make that a style div. Give it a flex of one, display flex. Transition, transform, 500 milliseconds, transform, style, preserve, 3D, and when it's flipped, transform, rotate, 180, oh, rotate Y. 180 degrees. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. Flipped is not defined. Okay. So here at the top, let's go ahead and import use state. And then we'll define a variable and uh, an updater function. So const uh, flipped and set flipped equals use state false and then here what we can do is add a button we can just do flip and then on click we can do set flipped to true and then we can do the same thing that flipped to false. All right, so there's our sweet looking card. If we click on the flip, it flips over to the back. If we click again, it flips over to the front. All right, so there you go. Uh, we've we've got it flipped. Um, obviously, it doesn't look great, but that's the the kind of basic. Uh, basic idea here and then you can mess around with styling and you know putting padding on it adjusting the size and style of the button um, obviously like cleaning up the space uh, here um, but you've got the idea of how to actually create the card so just making sure you have some sort of wrapper this like inner 
um, container and then your front and your back and then just apply uh, those styles. And of course, like if you want to add more content, if you want to add an image, all those sorts of things, um, you could even make the card itself instead of making a styled div, you could do like a styled button. Um, and then you click the button or you can uh, you can hover, uh, you know, when you when you hover, you add that class. Um, lots of really cool ideas out there. So I hope this was helpful. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comments. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and give uh, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time.